Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't turn it off. I'm a 90s kid. What do you want from me? Anyway, if you can't tell, I'm in a pretty good mood today. Check it out. When I got home from the old salt mine yesterday, what was waiting for me on my porch but a whole gaggle of goodies from my friends over at the Brady Corporation. Some of you guys may know that a while back I posted a video about an industrial label maker from Brady. I'll link it up here if you want to check it out after this. But they reached out to me and they're like, hey Dan, we caught your video on YouTube and we dig it. And we're wondering if you would be interested in going over some of our newer stuff, see if you like it and give us a review. To which I replied, uh, yeah, man, that would be absolutely awesome. So, here we are. Look at all this stuff, eh? If this doesn't get you wound up, I don't know what will. So let's go ahead, rip this stuff open, and see what we got. So let's bust out the old trusty leather man see what we got hiding in here paperwork yep 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 dunnage yep yep oh man we got some Brady perma sleeve you guys saw this in the last video this is freaking awesome for those of you that don't know this is heat shrink tubing that you can automatically print on trust me we will play with this you'll see what it's all about this stuff is amazing Some more bubbles, some more paperwork. <clears throat> wow, and a whole, look, this is all different labels. All different kinds of labels. Uh, what, different sizes, look. We have 19 mil or three quarter. Another three quarter polyester, one's nylon. What was this, this uh, translucent white vinyl and yellow vinyl it's, oh man this is good stuff you guys can't tell I'm opening this for the first time with you so we're experiencing this together it's a spiritual event let's go ahead and get to the main course here the meat and potatoes <laughs> oh Ah, ah, the Brady M211 Bluetooth wireless label maker. This is similar to the 21 Plus that I reviewed earlier, but this one runs off of your phone via Bluetooth. So you have the screen, all of the, well, let's face it, the keyboard that you use most in your life is the one that's on your phone. So, if you've ever used one of these label makers before, it can be kind of cumbersome to learn a new keyboard. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't degrade it at all. It's still an amazing product. But the one that's on your phone, you're just comfortable with because you use it nonstop. This guy utilizes that fact that we are so comfortable with our phone, we already know how to use it. So, you integrate this thing with your phone plus all the gizmos and gadgets that go along with the app so you can run this thing efficiently and effectively right through your phone. Let's dive in and see what's in this thing. All right, out of the gate here, let's get rid of that sleeve. Chances are we're probably not gonna need that. Oh, well, hey, there is a QR code here to download the app, so that'll be handy later, so we won't throw it too far away. Man, I to, look at this case. I feel like they really go above and beyond what's necessary here. This is obviously an HDPE with some nice metal latches. And this thing's got some decent heft to it. I mean, it's, it's not heavy by any means, but it just feels quality. It's unnecessary, but greatly appreciated. Thanks, Brady. Tear this thing open. 
man, again, what you come to expect here. Nice, like, Kaizen foam inserts all cut out. It's got the, the cavities here for your different labels. What is this? I'm not quite sure what the, maybe, maybe the battery? I don't know, we'll dive into this. There's a belt clip. I don't know, that's the battery. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should read the instructions, huh? There's a charging cable and the creme de la creme. The printer herself. And this is very similar to the past ones. You can tell it's got the uh, ejecto cedo cuz just like the other one. You press in your cartridge, lock it up. And we'll power this thing up and see what we got going on. So guys, to be perfectly honest with you, at this point, I just completely forgot that the camera was recording. So we might as well just use some of this footage. I'm simply just going through that box full of labels, opening them up, reading the information on the box, seeing what's what, finding a happy little home for all those cartridges inside that awesome blow molded case. And let me tell you, that case is absolutely awesome. I love how everything has a place and there's a place for everything. That way, whenever you're doing a job, you just have to grab that case and go. Whenever you get to something, you don't have to remember or think about what you took because you know it's all inside that case. And you see here, I just take my Sharpie and add a little bit of information to each cartridge because there is more information on the box than there is on the label itself. So I'm simply just writing, hey, this is a general use cartridge. This one is specifically for wire making. This one is better suited for outside, inside, whatever. It just helps me a little more application specific with the labels. And full disclosure guys here, I am not sponsored or endorsed at all by Brady. They simply just reached out to me and asked me to provide some honest feedback and review on their products. So I'm just letting you guys know what's going on and how this video came to be. Okay guys, let's go ahead and see about installing this app, see what it's all about. So it is nice that they give you this QR code on the box here. Let's see about getting this thing. All right, go ahead and get that app. All right, now that we got the app, let's go ahead and open it and see what it's all about. Of course, you gotta accept the terms and conditions like everything else in your life. Once we're in here, go ahead and pick the unit you got. M211, what's my printer's name? Remove the label to find the serial number. Man, I'd say this is nice, it just walks you through this. <laughs> oh, she's hiding, she's hiding. So we'll go ahead and put this thing back together. I'm assuming we gotta fire it up so it can hook up with the Bluetooth. Looky there. As soon as I turn this thing on, my phone sees it. Let's go ahead and pair with the printer. Boy, howdy. Your new printer, it sure is. Don't forget to lock the cartridge. Got it. Holy cow. Maintenance and mechanical, look at that. They got a tab just for Dan. Let's go to all just to see what's going on. I wanna start labeling. Uh, let's just do a blank one. Add content to your label. I would love to do that. Let's do a text box, choose how to... Okay. How about this? Let's just, Dan's Pro Shop. Why not? I love it. And hit the go button. Holy cow, are you seeing this? I didn't touch the printer at all. It's 100% from your phone. And it even automatically cuts it. I don't know if you guys heard that. It automatically cut the label for me. Dude. 
How cool is that? I tell you what, man, I thought I liked that other one. I thought that that was really going to be the end-all, be-all, like, last industrial labor I ever wanted. But this thing, man, this just brings a whole new party to the party. I tell you what, we're going to get into some serious stuff with this thing. I'm going to do some uh, homework, figure out how to use this, and we'll get back with you. Well, first things first, let's uh, not let this bad boy go to waste here. We already know that this is a label printer, but now we know that it is Dan's Pro Shop label printer. Thanks, Brady. I tell you what, since I haven't really dug into this yet, let's go ahead and do this for the first time so you can see like what you would expect whenever you get this in the case. Let's go ahead and figure out what this stuff is. If I had to guess, this is a magnetic base. Some installation screws. This has to be a magnet. Hey, look at that. That's exactly what this is. It's a magnetic base for this thing. So if you want, uh-huh, like it mounts right over the ejecto button. So you use these screws here put different bases onto this thing. So if you want to stick it to the side of your toolbox, whatever. So it would stand to reason. This is the exact same thing with just like a belt clip. This is like a, a sturdy little like a tape measure clip. Paperwork, paperwork. Oh, you got some more hardware there. And a snazzy little belt clip so you can wear this thing on your pocket. And I tell you what, sorry for you lefties out there, but this thing is very right-hand biased. So you see here, it's on the, the left, I don't know, what is that port? I don't know, I'm not a nautical guy in any means. But this would clip onto your right-hand side pocket. And then whenever you do all your printing and everything off your phone, it would just come out right in front of your right hand. It's really ergonomic, this is fancy. As far as this thing goes, I think this is just a spare battery. What is this? No way, it's way cooler. This is a rechargeable battery bank, specifically made for this thing from Brady. How freaking awesome is that? What, it charges with a, what, USB-C looks there? And USB-A out? Dude, I was not expecting that. So let's go ahead and look at the charging harness here. So we get a USB wall adapter brought to you by Brady. Holy cow, look, an adapter from USB-A, USB-C and the charging cable itself. That way, you can plug this cable right in to the power bank, or you can use like a, a regular USB charger outlet thing for anything else, plug it into your computer, whatever. Like, I don't know if you guys, like my toolbox has USB outlets so I can like charge my phone and flashlights and stuff. This is gonna be super handy. I can leave this plugged in in the drawer of my toolbox and keep this thing charged up along with this. Man, th this is super cool. I was not expecting this at all. That is an amazing add-on. So we'll go ahead and give you a little fashion show here. Take our fancy little belt clip. Huh? You wear it just like a tape measure. How nice is that? And you guys can get a good sense of the size of this thing. It's really not that much bigger than like a 35 foot tape measure. And it doesn't weigh anything. If you guys want, I'll throw this thing on the gram scale, let you know what's up. But that is just nice. So you're going along, doing all your labeling, your printing or whatever, hit the go button, pops out right in front of your hand and it cuts the label for you. So all you gotta do is boop, just pull it right out and you're set. All right guys, now that we've gone through this thing, we kind of know what it's all about. Let's go ahead and check out some practical applications. I have an old junk terminal strip here that you would normally see in a machine, at least in the stuff that I work in. And this is what would like determine the control side from the field side of a machine. So let's just say 
that I have like the outputs from a PLC coming into this side, and then I have going out of this side to different like valves and solenoids or whatever. So this is just a good example of when and how something like this would be awesome to use. So let's go ahead and just make up a couple whips and see how this thing would work. Let's go ahead and strip some cables here. Because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm doing something like this, I strongly prefer to use furls, especially in a terminal strip. Because that just makes everything so much nicer and clean. So let's go ahead and get these made up. Put them in the terminal strip and see what we can't do about it. Okay, so like I said here, we're just going to terminate some random wires. As of right now, they don't mean anything. This is strictly for illustration purposes. We'll go ahead and say that the left side is our inputs and the right side is our outs for sake of argument here. I don't know if you guys have ever attempted to do anything like this, but trying to work on a bench or something and look through a camera to do it could be a little cumbersome. So now we have our wires terminated. I want to go ahead and label these so I know what these wires are, where they're going. So a good industry practice to do this is label both ends of the wire so I know what either terminal is on both sides. Yes, I know this doesn't actually go to anything, but you'll see what's happening here. Let's go ahead and fire this old girl up. So now that we have everything ready to go ahead and label, let's go ahead and fire up the Brady app on our smartphone here. Yep. That's my printer. So we want to make some wire flags here. Go ahead and choose what you want to make. You pick the diameter of your wire here. I tell you what, for the point of the video, I'll grab a mic and uh, let's actually measure this. So we'll go ahead and set our mic to freedom units here because this guy is measuring in Imperial. Let's measure our wire. Let's just say 0.11. Give ourselves a little bit of room to work with. So cable diameter here. Go ahead, choose that. Go up here into the text box. 0.110. All right, so now this thing knows the diameter of my wire. And whenever you pick the diameter of your wire here, it automatically gives you a good applicable length for your flag. So one inch seems fine. That's all good. Let's go ahead and actually print something. So when you're ready to actually make your label, go ahead and hit the pencil here. Then that brings up like what it's going to be on either side. So let's hit the keyboard. And I want this wire right here to be input two. So if you guys know anything about PLCs, that would be I2. And then it automatically inverts this on either side. So whenever you flip it, your image isn't upside down. Let's go ahead and print that out. Check it out. Automatically does it and cuts it for me. I can't tell you how awesome this is. Now, once you have your label printed out, simply peel off the backing here, place your wire in the center, in between the two prints there, and simply stick it together. Now look at that. Now I have a good size, easy to read flag with an appropriate amount of space in the center that covers the wire. And I can see from both sides, this is input number two. And I would do the same thing on this end on a PLC. But let's just keep going down the line here. We'll do flags over here and we'll do the perma sleeve over here so you guys can see how that looks. And I tell you is what, another thing is awesome about these labels, they are insanely sticky. I don't know what they put on this stuff, but dude, like, it, you don't have to have a perfectly clean surface to go ahead and put these things, especially if you're sticking it to itself. Like once this thing is on, it's on for eternity. It's impressive the quality of these labels here. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and switch this over to the perma sleeve because I wanna put heat shrink on this side. So it's as simple as unlocking the cartridge, hit this button on the back to eject it out, and I simply select the next one that I want. So we're gonna go over to the kit here, to switch it out, black and white perma sleeve. That's just their way of calling it heat shrink. Like I said before, I label these just for a quick little, so I know what's going on. The printer even tells you, hey, something's wrong. I think you took the cartridge out. Well, yeah, I sure did. So let's go ahead and slam this one in there. As simple as pushing it in, locking the tab, the light goes out, and my phone even tells me, hey, there's something new in here. Well, that's absolutely right. So I just accept that this thing saw what I did, and now I can change what happens here. So let's go ahead and make a heat shrink for this side. So once you get back to the home screen here and select what style of label you wanna make, I wanna make a sleeve. So let's go ahead and click on that text box, and I wanna do output number two and output number zero two. So let's do a capital output to and print that. Check that out. It does it just as seamlessly as the label, but this is a piece of heat shrink tubing. I cannot tell you guys how nice this is. Just slide this over your wire and Bob's your uncle. Look at that, look how freaking perfect that is. And whenever you want to change something, it's as simple as choosing the text box here. It reopens what you're working on, highlight the text line. Now I want to do output zero two. So just like you're texting, there's nothing to it. Zero two. I changed that. And you see how this denotes the difference between an O and a zero, which is super nice. It eliminates all that confusion. I'm done changing my label. Now I want to print it. I absolutely love this thing. I can't tell you guys enough how awesome this is. Like honestly, I thought the other one with the keyboard was really cool, but this one, how it utilizes your phone, there's just absolutely no way that it could get any more simple and user-friendly than this. Now, once you have your heat shrink on here, look how nice, clean, and professional this looks. I mean, I've done it both ways. Either you can leave it like this, that way you can change labels back and forth or whatever, or you can go ahead and heat shrink this. I mean, you don't have to, it's totally up to you. But let's go ahead and shrink this just so you guys can see what it looks like. And look at that. I tell you, man, it doesn't get any more professional than this. If you wanna take your wiring game up to that next level, this guy is your Goldilocks. This is the perfect bowl of porridge. I'm telling you, I've used a lot of these over the years. And this one, there really is no comparison. Just look how nice this is. So there's one more really cool thing I wanna show you guys before we wrap this up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this cartridge back to the regular nylon label. Go ahead, pop that in, flip up the locking tab. My app knows that I put in a different label, so it just knows what to do. This, I cannot stress the user friendliness of this. I don't have to tell it what to do. It automatically knows. The printer sends a signal to my phone so it knows what's going on. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna label these terminal strips. Let's say that you're working on something new and you have a blank one of these strips right out of the box, nothing's labeled, and I need to tell myself what these are. That's a thing, we can do it with the app. So let's go back to home, and if you see here, terminal block, click on that. This is a nice little illustration of a terminal block. And the best thing is here, you see these numbers at the bottom here? This is telling me how wide each one of these are so it can print the label properly and in each size. So let's go ahead real quick and measure the width or the height of one of these blocks. Okay, we got a quarter inch there. So I can go ahead and tell the label maker that each one of these blocks is 0.250 inches. 
And I can do this for every single one. So each one is its own thing. You can do whatever you'd like to it. So if you have a terminal block, it's all different. You have some doubles, you have some singles. You can make it whatever you want. So let's say for this first one, I want to print this very first one as output zero two. Capital O, oh, it's regular output two. The second one, I want to make it output zero two. And then the rest, we'll just leave blank for sake of argument here. Now I want to print this. Look at that. I mean, obviously I know this is the wrong size right now, but check that out. You see that? It's exactly a quarter of an inch. It's what I told it. And this will print out some extra on the beginning and the end, which is super simple. I mean, go ahead. I mean, you have tools coming out of your ears. So you just take that little extra off the end, clip it off, no biggie. But look how perfect that is. Each of these blocks, the ones that I told it to be a quarter of an inch long are exactly a quarter of an inch long. So now, whenever you get a brand new terminal strip, you can print out your terminal strip labeling and put it right on here and take all the guesswork out. And not only that, but it makes it look super professional. And you can change the orientation of these letters. You can make it portrait like this or landscape. So it's super nice that you can change the orientation of your letters and numbers and make this look as good as possible. Well guys, that about does it for this one. I mean, honestly, I could go on for hours about all the little features and goodies that this thing does, but I'm trying to keep this to a manageable level and not turn it into a sermon. So if you guys can see the value and the awesome endless applications that you can use with this thing like I can, like Lord knows, I'm gonna use this thing nonstop. Especially now that I have it at my disposal, I'm gonna label stuff that doesn't even need labeled. It just, if I think it could use a sticker, Dan's got it. We're gonna go ahead and sticker it. So if you guys are interested in picking one of these things up for yourself, obviously they're available at Brady.com and on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these links down in the description so you can check it out for yourself. You can get all different kinds of configurations. You can get just the label printer itself. You can get just the cartridges, or you can get this fancy kit like we have here. There's all different kinds of stuff that you guys can choose from, and I'm telling you, you will not regret this purchase. If you do anything even remotely close to what we did here today, I promise you, you will not regret this thing and you will use it all of the time. So go ahead and check out these links in the description below and we will see you guys next time.